going on, family? It's Danny G, and I'm really happy to present you with a new episode of Strength Aesthetics. Hopefully, you've experimented with the parallel bars tutorial in the previous video. If you haven't seen that, check it out right here. But today, I'm going to teach you how to do another very fundamental trick, but on the high bar, and that's going to be a kip. Now, the useful thing about a kip is that unlike the muscle up, you can do it out of a bigger swing. So if you did a trick that left you with a lot of momentum, you can easily convert that into a kip. Now that second move isn't really relevant, but I just wanted to show you a new trick. A kip is a four step process. The first step is to swing. You don't want to swing too much, just enough to generate enough momentum. The second step is to raise your feet to the bar and swing in that position just so that you could get a feel for the timing of the actual kip. You want to kip when your body is behind the bar like this. The third step is the actual kip. You need to drive your feet up and out. The fourth step is what you do with your torso. What you want to do is a rapid movement like this and that will help you to get your shoulders over the bar. So in summary, as you're swinging, once your body goes in front of the bar, that's when you start raising your feet to the bar and once your body goes behind the bar, that's when you kip. And at the same time, that's when you do the rapid movement with your shoulders in effort to get your shoulders over the bar. So experiment with that. Let me know how it goes. And in the meantime, subscribe. And don't let anybody stop you from exploring what your body is truly capable of. That's why I say that it's not just enough to have a strong body. You also have to have a strong mind. On that note, much love to all of you guys, and I will see you next time.